On to China now, where the Communist Party is witnessing a shakeup. It began last year. Beijing sacked many high-profile figures, including the defense and foreign ministers. No explanation given. All we got was speculation, rumors of a massive purge ordered by Chinese President Xi Jinping himself. It was not clear what the full scope of this purge was. But now we finally have numbers. China is purging officials at an industrial scale. In 2023, listen to this, in 2023, some 110,000 officials faced a crackdown, 1,10,000 in one year. These were Communist Party officials from various departments, mostly low ranking. China's top anti-corruption body caught them. They were engaged in small-time corruption. Xi Jinping calls these people flies and ants, meaning they're small players. 41,000 of these flies were punished for reasons like falling to take responsibility or paying lip service to orders. That was their crime. Another 40,000 were pulled up for small-time corruption, like receiving gifts or money or for attending lavish events. Like I said, these are low-ranking officials engaging in petty acts of graft. They also make easy targets. But the list includes senior officials too. Reports say 45 senior officials in China were purged last year. The Chinese president has a nickname for them too. He calls them tigers, the big players, the so tigers and flies. And since Xi Jinping came to power, many such tigers have been pulled up. They have disappeared. They've been put behind bars and purged. And this happens every year. So what's different this time? What's different about these 45 officials? Why is the crackdown of 2023 significant? Because it is the biggest purge on record. China has never before investigated so many senior officials. Compared with 2022, the number of cases shot up by 40%. But curiously, on this list of corrupt officials, there are no names from the military, none from the PLA, the People's Liberation Army. When China released this list, it left out the military, even though the cleanup in the PLA is their worst kept secret. Last year, Beijing removed Li Shang Fu, China's defense minister. Just like the others, one fine day, he disappeared from the public eye. Weeks later, China announced that he'd been sacked. No reason was given. But the rumor is that Li is being investigated for corruption. Before taking over as defense minister, he was part of the PLA's rocket force. And this stint of his has come under scrutiny. In fact, there were more sackings related to this from the rocket force. Two top generals were removed. By the end of last year, more than a dozen military officials had been purged. And that crackdown is not over. Today, China expelled another rocket scientist. His name is Wang Xiaojun. And Wang was an important man. He developed rockets for the Chinese military. He was behind China's Long March 7 rocket. It's used for space launches. Recently, it was used to send supplies to the Chinese space station and to launch satellites. So why was Wang removed? Again, no reasons given. But it could be because of this report. He told you about this a few weeks back. Water was found inside Chinese rockets. Water instead of fuel. It showed the extent of corruption in the PLA. The US conducted an assessment of the Chinese rocket force. They released an intelligence report. It revealed the weaknesses in China's rocket force. It showed that their missile silos were defective. Some of them won't even open. And PLA officers have been removing fuel and filling the rockets with water. So is Wong being held responsible for all of this? It's hard to say, honestly. But one thing's for sure. These high-profile, large-scale sackings are bound to weaken the PLA.